Welcome to another video in this Xero Basics course. In this video I want to start going through the chart of accounts with you. Viewing the chart of accounts, adding new accounts and editing accounts. You'll notice from our dashboard screen that we're starting to get a lot more information appear on this screen now and even more will appear as we add bank accounts and start recording payments and receipts from bank accounts. If you have started this course with this video, then I suggest you go back and watch the previous videos. To look at the chart of accounts, all we need to do is go to settings, click on settings, and then we have this chart of accounts option here. If you click on that, you'll then be taken to the chart of accounts, which looks like this. So it's basically just a list of all the accounts that transactions are posted to. If chart of accounts and assets and liabilities and all this accounting terminology is going over your head, then you may want to consider my exclusive bookkeeping course, which is on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. I also have a free bookkeeping course, which is on this YouTube channel. So if you just look at my videos or go to my channel homepage, you'll be able to see videos for that course. And just like most chart of accounts we have um, some sort of organization to the account so 2000 codes you can see 2000 are all sales and income accounts 3000 codes are cost of goods or cost of sales direct wages etc then 4000 codes are overheads which come all the way down here generally the most accounts on the chart of accounts are overhead and expenditure accounts 5000 is a tax account and i think from now on they're all fixed asset current asset fixed liability or long-term liability and current liability accounts so 6000 these are asset accounts 7000 they look like asset accounts too 8,000 are liability accounts and then 9,000 are also liability accounts. So we're likely to have long-term liabilities and short-term liabilities and fixed assets and current assets. So this is the chart of accounts. If you want to categorize or see the chart of accounts by category, then just use these tabs here. So you can view all the asset accounts, you can view the equity accounts, you can view expense accounts or revenue accounts. If we click on revenue, it should be that the 200 accounts show up. So here we go, the 200 accounts. So you can just filter by account category. So this is the chart of accounts. I suggest that you just view and play around with this screen. You can print the chart of accounts, which is helpful. It can be helpful to have a hard copy if you're new to Xero and new to accounting. When it comes to recording expenses and things, sometimes it's easier to have a hard copy list in front of you to see the number of the account you want rather than trying to find it on the screen. 